Welcome back to another episode of Swamp Stories. This time we enter a new territory, a new kind of video, a world unlike any other. That's the world of the Hoff Twins. After watching the legendary documentary, many people had questions. First of all, what in the world? But after that question, people were wondering if these guys were the real deal or imposters. People were really confused because they are truly one of a kind, but so is their neighborhood. It all makes sense, trust me. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. In the opening scene, a woman calls them the only white boys in Marin. This comment confused everyone in the Bay Area. That's because Marin County is 85.3% white, and white and Marin are basically synonymous. When you think of Marin, it's the first thing that comes to your mind. It's also the wealthiest county in California with the average income being $120,000. Marin County is like the Calabasas of Northern California. It's located just 20 minutes north of San Francisco and 20 minutes from Richmond as well. It's like its own island detached from the rest of the Bay Area. Marin County never wanted to be a part of the Bay Area. They voted against having BART and they banned building affordable housing. They want to keep Marin the way it is, the quiet, peaceful suburbs. You're probably thinking, wait, so the Hoff Twins are from the suburbs? Yes, but not really. Right in the middle of all this wealth, you have a small community called Marin City. It's just one exit, one way in, and one way out. In the 1940s, there was a shipyard that needed workers, so a few thousand African Americans from Louisiana came to work there. The workers needed a place to stay, so they carved out the side of a mountain to build housing for them. Well, over the years, the shipyards closed and the people were permanently living in Marin City. But then, without jobs, they turned the temporary housing into public housing. They were also banned from buying houses in the rest of Marin County until the 1960s. Marin City is basically just two streets of public housing in the middle of the wealthiest suburbs in the country. Back in the day when Tupac lived there, it was just projects and a liquor store. That's it. Now they have a target, but that's really it. It makes for a truly unique environment. There is nothing like it. It's the only hood in the Bay Area that doesn't have an opposition. So it's not the most dangerous place, but it's still the projects and things do happen. The difference is, is that you don't have to worry about running into opposition or looking over your shoulder. That's because you have to cross a bridge to get to any other hood, so it doesn't really make sense. If someone wanted to beef with them, they would have to save up some bridge toll money. And trust me, it's not cheap. But life in Marin City was rough for the Hoff Twins. They moved there at a young age and they were the only of their kind in the projects. They fought every day and they even had their apartment robbed. The Hoff Twins had to fight for their respect in the jungle, and that's exactly what they did. They never backed down to anyone and they always kept their fists up. Over the years, they became part of the Marin City family. Things changed when they got to high school though. Growing up, they went to school in Marin City where they were the only two of their kind. But Marin City doesn't have a high school, so the kids went to Tam High, which is in Mill Valley. It's one of the most prestigious schools <laughs> located in a city that's 91% white. The Hoff Twins were introduced to a new environment full of rich kids who they could not relate to. That's where they played on the football team where Tyler played quarterback and Alex was his wide receiver. The twins were all for the ladies too. This didn't just start recently. You can see Alex Hoff with this girl here who happens to be Oakland rapper All Black's girlfriend and baby mama. Let's just say the twins were born players and they were the man in high school. After high school though, things would kind of go downhill. The rich Marin kids would all go off to college and the twins would stay in Marin City. And that's where they would fall down the wrong path. The poverty in their community versus the wealth that their classmates had led them to chase money now. They would jump into the streets, doing what they could to make fast money. On top of this, they would lose their close friend Jono and Vallejo. Well, the twins would kind of go in separate career paths. Either that or Alex was much better at evading trouble. Tyler, the finesse twin, would catch his first case at 18 years old. It was a serious assault charge with great bodily impact. He would get out though, but 2015 wouldn't be any better. In fact, he would get arrested seven times in 2015. It was mostly possession charges and vandalism. He also caught three separate cases for evading police and resisting arrest. Alex, the success twin, would catch his first case in August 2017. It was for possession of something the opposite color of black and the opposite texture of water. The twins were doing what they could to make money in the projects, but it came with consequences. Many of their friends fell into the street life as well. The twins were truly surrounded by the streets. 
Right after high school in 2015, their close friend Isaac Fisher would drive up to Novato to buy something green and most likely sticky. Well, actually, he wasn't there to buy anything. He wanted that five finger discount. Well, the guys were not going to give it up that easy. So BAM! He pops them both and runs off with it. He would end up getting caught and he was sentenced to 16 years. Then, their close friend Cordell Carter, also known as DZ, would run into trouble as well. He would drive down to San Francisco seeking a 211. Little did he know there were two undercover cops sitting right there in unmarked cars. He would get tackled down and he would end up getting 16 years as well. I say all this to show that the twins and the guys from the neighborhood are no joke at all and they're with all the activities. 2019 would be an especially rough year for the Hoff twins in Marin City though. It was devastating. June 11th, 2019, the Hoff twins would be in their friend Bees' music video. Thrown up that top, case these niggas wanna play play. Toss who that got, tell my little nigga to stay safe. Green dots the chick, making sure my niggas stay straight. Quit asking what happened, I ain't see shit like I'm Ray Ray. But I have a pass when you slide through with them play fair. I'm a fool with them too, drill him down, make him later. 1200 for the kick, I don't shop at no bay fair. Soft 10 on the neck, BVS, bet the bitch there. Bitch. It would be a day of fun and celebration, but later that night, bad news would come in. While swimming at the beach with his friends, Tony Foster would get caught under a massive wave and riptide that pulled him in. He would sadly pass away. Tony Foster and the Hoff twins were as close as friends can be, so this loss devastated them. Then just a couple months later, a friend from Marin City named Joshua Davis, also known as Buddy, would be killed in Richmond. The year would only get worse, but it couldn't get any worse than this. Halloween 2019. Bees would have another music video during the day and everything would be good. Still can't believe my nigga Loke ain't here with me. Ever since I lost my dog boy, I feel empty. I be clutching on that grip when I feel iffy. If I catch a op, I can drop that whole 50. Can't leave the streets alone, I lost my soul in it. One step in your function if I can't bring my pole in it. Reaching for my chain, I hit your block trying to dome niggas. Jump up in that Benz, I just proud, make it back home, nigga. Ay. And I stay dripped in my best fit, nigga. Set trip, run up on me, that's a death wish. Later that night, they would continue the celebration. There is a house party in Arinda, which Marin City dudes attend. At this party, things would quickly turn left and tragedy would occur. Bam! It was one of the worst nights in Bay Area history. It made national news and even forced Airbnb to change their policies. Five people lost their lives at this house party. One of them would be a man named Javi. He was a 29 year old father from Marin City and he was very close friends with the Hoff twins. Not only would Marin City have to grieve the loss and the trauma from the night, two weeks later things would get much worse. In connection with that house party shooting that left five people dead in Orinda, what do we know about the suspects taken into custody? KPIX 5's Joe Vasquez outside Tamil Pius High School in Mill Valley with some new information. The two young men arrested here in Marin today were standout basketball players for their high schools just a couple of years ago. Jaquez Sweeney played for Drake and Jason Isles Jr. played for Tamil Pius High School. Both are now in jail along with three others, LeBron Wallace of San Mateo, Shamron Mitchell of Antioch, and Devin Williamson of Vallejo. There's some families that are hurting right now. Rondell Leggett is pastor of First Missionary Baptist Church in Marin City. He says folks here have already been on edge because one of the men killed in Orinda, Javelin County, was from here. Now these arrests have folks even more unsettled. We're already grieving a tremendous loss of a young man who was a father of two children. Um, and now to hear a couple people arrested from here too. Yeah, more pain for us to absorb. Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5. Marin City rapper Bees and three others would be arrested for what happened at the house party. This shocked the community, but thankfully they would be released weeks later after lack of evidence. Now let's talk about how the documentary happened. It's 2020 and the Hoff Twins' former classmate at Tam High is now a producer at Channel 5. He has a genius idea to record a day in the life of the Hoff Twins. 
everyone in the community already knew who they were, but it was time for the world to know. They would record the movie, but it wouldn't be released for a while. In the meantime, the twins are still living in the projects, but let's go back to the documentary for a second and take a look at a specific scene. Right there is the Hoff twins' close friend named Tion Ford. He was known to be well respected in the community. The night of November 14th, 2020. Tion Ford is outside the buildings that the Hoff twins live in. He's hanging out outside, but that's when a man pulls up and BAM! The Hoff twins would lose another close friend to add to a tough couple of years. I hope this answered all of your questions whether the Hoff twins really come from that life. Their neighborhood is the real deal and they are definitely with all the activities. This isn't Chet Hanks or Malibu's Most Wanted, these guys are really a product of their environment. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.